Kesa. My school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, Pico, Manning Cup. Only for your shield, you make me link up. To watch the champions cup, Ben Francis. Bata Cup, which team are winning the championship this season. All right, yeah, all semi-finalists for the ISSA Schoolboy Football, the Costa Cup in Jamaica have been decided. At the weekend, defending champions Clarendon College and Glenmuir High secured their semi-final berths. The remaining two semi-finalists were confirmed earlier on Tuesday. Garvey Maceo secured their spot with a win over Cornwall College in Clarendon. Here are the highlights with Dean Smith on commentary. Here's a full-time hi highlight. Jelani Williams got the ball at the half line and was able to evade quite a few defenders on that occasion. Then again, then again, and a cool finish beyond the goalkeeper tingling. 1-0 for Garvey Maceo. He really did well on that individual effort, you could say. Cool finish in the end. Beaten at the near post was Carlisle Tingling. Goal number 11 on the season. That free kick went wide. Clear Clark, the kick on that occasion. He would turn beautifully here. And his shot was wide of the mark as well. What a sharp turn it was from the number 10. Cornwall College, they would also have some attacking forays. Goalkeeper spilling that one. It came to Rakeem Grizzle and he flashed it just across the, the face of goal. Had it been on target, I tell you, goalkeeper would have been out of position. But in the second half, beautiful builder play. Donaldson getting by his marker, playing it to Everell Swaby. His shot was beautifully powered away, but the follow up from Clear Clark was clinical, incisive. And just enough on the afternoon, 2 0 for Garva Maceo. His 20th goal, that one, Clear Clark. Ensuring that the six point, the three points they need to go to six points was on the cards for them. They would continue. That ball pushed forward. Williams, the goal scorer, unable to get the clinical touch they need. Cornwall College, they had their own attempts this first time effort from Buckley going over the bar another look at it that one from Buckley as well he really came alive in the second half and they would continue and that shot put in all sorts of problems for goalkeeper Tingling had to Force it wide. Cornwall College again would try to bring problem. The substitute came on to Kane Brown. He brought that one over the top. And they had this opportunity. Matthew Wilson, firm hand by Krishmar Maxwell, keeping him at bay. And that was that for this quarterfinal Group B. All right, so let's look at the full results from today's uh, the Costa Cup matches then. Four quarterfinal matches, the last set of quarterfinal games. Garva Maceo 2-0 over Cornwall College. You just saw the highlights there. BB Coke, they had a chance of going through. They upset Dintil Technical by two goals to one, but it was not good enough. Christiana losing 3-1 to Manchester High and uh, Clarendon College beating Glenmuir by two goals to one in what many believe is a prelude to the Da Costa Cup final. Points table then, Group A. Well, Group, yeah. Clarendon College and Glenmuir already through before today to the semi-finals of the competition. Clarendon College, the defending champions, taking top spot with maximum nine points after today's victory. Glenmuir also advancing. And then in Group 2, this is the one that was really tight. Dintil Technical topping the group on goal difference. They finished with a plus 4 ahead of Garvey Maceo, who finished with a plus 3. BB Coat, despite today's impressive victory over Dintil Technical, ending with a minus 2. And so they 
have been eliminated from the Da Costa Cup. They will play Ben Francis football, a title that they won in 2019. It is their lone schoolboy football title. So here we have it, the semi-final lineup for the Da Costa Cup. Clarendon College, the defending champions, taking on Garber Maceo, the 2021 Da Costa Cup champions. Glenn Muir, the reigning Ben Francis champions, they will not defend that title because they're in the Da Costa Cup semi-finals taking on Dintil, who are desperate for another Da Costa Cup title. The most consistent team in the last 10 years, Lance and Mariah Dintil Technical, to, to have not won a schoolboy football title, uh, whether it be the Champions Cup, which is the All-Island Knockout, the Da Costa Cup, which is rural area football's most cherished prize, or even the Ben Francis Cup that we've seen some other schools win. But it's a really good um, semi-final lineup, I think, in the Da Costa Cup. Yeah, they still haven't won the Da Costa Cup since the early 1980s, have they? Yeah, 1981, and, I think it yeah, was. So they, they, and they have had some good teams in the past decade, but just not going all the way. But it's hard to look past, as you suggested, Clarendon College and Glenmuir for the title. Um, having said that, all four semi-finals look very, very strong. Um, it's just that Clarendon College just... They appear to have gears, you know, they, they appear to have the quality to just match anything that is thrown at them. And then when they are on song, they look almost unbeatable. Um, Lenny Hyde's teams, and they have a look about them, attractive and so on. But uh, Glenmuir are looking tight and, 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 and as you said, Dintil can't be underestimated. So what I'm getting is you're picking anyone to win. It's an open battle. I give Clarendon College the edge. Okay. I give Clarendon College the edge, but I think it's, it's a, a good quartet of teams um, getting ready for the semis. Yeah, you know, I wanted to skip the show today so I could go to Clarendon and watch the Glenmuir yeah. versus Clarendon College and County. Yes, I wasn't allowed to do it. I really wanted to, though, um, <laughs> because there are two teams that play a really attractive brand of football and I really wanted to see how that would come together yeah. Yeah. in a contest. Clearly it was a pretty good game, Clarendon College um, coming out 2-1 and I hope that I'll get to see it in the mm. championship match again. Yeah, yeah, well there will be no skipping work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Leger Lige Williams referenced it yesterday when he spoke about the quality of the two coaches, Glenn Muir's uh, Andrew Peart and uh, Lenny Hyde from Clarendon College. He spoke glowingly of uh, their coaching acumen yes. and uh, used that to suggest that those two teams have something special about them. Yeah, and we'll have to wait for the Da Costa Cup semi-finals, but what we will get a chance to see this weekend will be the quarter-final matches in the Champions Cup, which is the All-Island Knockout. So you have the four semi-finalists from the Manning Cup, um, Mona, Kingston College, Heidel and St. George's College um, will be drawn against the four teams from the Da Costa Cup, Glenmuir, Clarendon College, Garver Maceo and Dintil. Yeah. And I can't wait to see those matches this weekend, um, Lance and Mariah, because I was having a conversation last night and there is a feeling that this year the Da Costa Cup teams are actually better than the Manning Cup teams. And so I think the quarterfinal matches will be quite interesting to see. One, first of all, the matchups and then how they play out on Saturday. So, of course, the draw will be done tonight. Yes. Um, we will have to leave early from our beautiful space um, to show you that, which is coming up at 6 o'clock, 7 ECT. Yes. Mm. So it's a good look. All right, we also have Nations League football that's coming up on the channel this week. And yes, you will not want to miss this wherever you are across the Caribbean. So let's have a look at the matches that we're looking forward to. This is Friday now. Montserrat will take on the Dominican Republic. This will be on Sportsmax at 2 p.m., 3 ECT. Then Bermuda versus St. Vincent and the Grenadines at 5.30 p.m., 6.30 ECT that one is on Sportsmax Plus which you can get on the Sportsmax app so ensure you download the Sportsmax app now Barbados versus Nicaragua at 6 p.m. 7 ECT that will be on Sportsmax 2 still Friday the big one Jamaica versus Canada first leg this is the quarterfinals of Nations League 1 and this will be on Sportsmax at 7 p.m. 8 ECT it will come from the National Stadium 
in Kingston. Yeah, so we're watching closely for that. There's also Honduras versus Mexico. That's at 9 p.m. 10 ECT. Also on Sportsmax, Belize versus French Guiana. That will be on Sportsmax 2 at 9 p.m. 10 ECT. So a lot of great action coming up in the Nations League this week. And it will all be live on your home of champions, Sportsmax, Sportsmax 2, Sportsmax Plus. Yeah, download the app today.